Russian missile hits center of Ukraine's second biggest city. Updates from BBC correspondents in Ukraine and the region, Ola Guerin, Lise Doucette and James Waterhouse in Kiev, Sarah Rainsford in Dnipro, Fergal Keen in Lviv, Steve Rosenberg in Moscow and Mark Lowen on the Polish border. Kharkiv aid workers search through rubble. Emergency officials in the city of Kharkiv say that at least 20 people have been injured during shelling of the state administration office there. The BBC cannot independently verify these claims. In a video posted to Facebook, an emergency worker outside the severely damaged building says that it has been partially destroyed, and adds that a stairwell in a nearby building has collapsed, trapping people beneath it. The man says that some 20 civilians have been injured by the strike and six others recovered, though it is unclear whether he meant the people have been killed. The rescuers are sifting through the rubble, removing those injured and the bodies of those killed. Our work continues, the worker says. We've been bringing you pictures and updates on a huge explosion in Kharkiv, a place which has special significance for Ukrainians. It is the country's second largest city, and the first capital of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic set up by the Bolsheviks. It is home to some of Ukraine's most important industry, including a tank factory, as well as numerous IT companies. This morning, a missile struck its very heart in Freedom Square just outside the regional administration offices. Speaking shortly after the attack, the head of the regional administration, Olsen Hubov, called it a treacherous war crime. Ukrainian military officials have claimed 5,710 Russian troops have been killed in the first five days of intense fighting in the country. In a video message posted to Facebook, a spokesperson for the country's general staff added that over 200 Russian soldiers have been taken captive by Ukrainian forces. The official also claimed that 198 Russian tanks, 29 planes, 846 armored vehicles and 29 helicopters have been destroyed. The BBC cannot independently verify these claims, but the UK Defence Ministry believes that Moscow's forces have suffered heavy losses during its invasion of Ukraine. On Sunday, officials in Moscow were forced to admit that their forces had suffered casualties, after days of claiming that no Russian soldiers had been killed. Ukraine's foreign affairs minister has tweeted a video of the explosion in Kharkiv's Freedom Square and accuses Russian President Vladimir Putin of war crimes. He is calling on the world to isolate Russia.